hello beauties welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch my video i really appreciate you so much so today i'll be sharing with you all how i achieved this gorgeous hairstyle on my daughter's hair i know you'll have seen the thumbnail my daughter's name is halimat so i'll be showing you all how i achieved this beautiful hairstyle on halimat's hair by making use of brazilian wool so i make use of one and a half pack of brazilian wool then on each braid i make use of 12 strand of the wool on each braid so I sectioned the back braid into three, yes, into three pieces. Then at the top, I'm going to be making a corn roll with the Brazilian wool. So this is the first method I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to be showing you this fourth method by picking the hair from the roots. But I prefer using the second method because the second method is painless. You won't feel any pain when you use the second method. So just showing you how you can do it with a beginner. Just section the hair into three. Then you can section the braid into sorry you can section the wool into three or so. But me, I'm not a beginner, so I can pick the hair from the root. And I also forgot to mention the second method is also faster. So that is why I love using the second method. So if you want to use the second method or the first method, you can use anyone you like. So now I'm just tying a knot towards the end of the braids. Just tying a knot. After that, I'm going to drop the hair because I'm still going to be wrapping it with another color of Brazilian wool. So this is the second method I'm talking about. You use the your whole hair to make the third strand of hair you're going to be braiding. Yes. So the second method is faster and it's not painful. That is why I love using the second method so if you keep learning keep practicing you can actually get a dull hair that has a hair on it easy to practice me too i'm still a learner <laughs> but practice makes perfect if you don't practice it can be perfect keep practicing very simple to achieve So I'm done with the braids now. Can you see that even the first or the second method, the braid is still neat. Then this is the cornrow part. So this cornrow part, I'm using 12 strand of wool also, but I'm going to be using five strand to pick the hair from the beginning. Then towards the end, I'm going to be using the remaining seven strand to finish the hair so that the braids 
and the corn roll and will be the same thing. So towards the end of the braid, this is what I'm going to be using. I'm using another color of Brazilian wool just to wrap towards the hand. I don't want to use beads on our hair this time. Yes, because we use a lot of beads in our hairstyle. So just want to do a different thing. So after finish wrapping, just take a lighter to bond towards the hand. Not really as in not if you really burn it i think i'm going to show it in one of these video just keep on watching you see where i use lighter to burn towards the head after using the scissors to trim the excess away so just use a light lighter just a little bit not really burning so that the brazilian wool color you are using won't change color because if really burn the mouth the brazilian wool is going to change color yes it's going to turn to color black so just use a little bit then use your hand to hold it finish So I'm just using this my DIY oil on a scalp so that it won't be inchy. So after that, I'm going to be using olive oil sheen and olive oil mousse just to make the hair look smooth and have a wonderful salon smell. So if you are still watching to the end, thank you so much. So this is the final look of there. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. See my next video. Bye. Love you. Ciao. Mm -hmm.
Mwah, mwah, mwah.